Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the plain DOS virus. Now this virus is a little bit different from the others I've tested in that it is a companion virus. And what this means is that rather than infecting uh, .com or .exe files directly by injecting its code into them, it creates a, com a companion file. So when you run a file in MS-DOS, you don't have to specify the file extension. If it's an executable, DOS will realize that and run it. So say, if we take a look we say we want to run, how about like mem.exe for memory or deltree.exe, if we run it, it'll check for the executable type and if it's an exe or .com file it'll run it. Now what a companion file, or what a companion virus does, is it scans for these exe files and creates a, an identical named .com file. So say if we had deltree.exe, it would make a file called deltree.com, which is just the virus. As you can see, at the bottom of the list here, we have mwbackup.com. That is a copy of plain. If we try to run it, like without specifying a uh, file, it'll, it will attempt to run the virus first, and then the virus will go back and run the exe file, so you don't notice anything's wrong. So hopefully I explained that all right. So it's an interesting method of infecting files, a little bit different. Creates a .com files for exe files, and if you don't specify the extension, DOS will always run the file with the .com extension first, and then the virus, of course, runs the .exe. So, in order to get plain to display its pretty cool payload, I'm going to have to make a simple batch file. So, we're just going to make a batch file that will run it over and over again until it goes off. And here we go. And eventually we should see the virus activate. Which is pretty amusing. So, as you can see, the virus does print out a fake bad commander file name error message. Kind of throw you off its trail. There we go, here is the payload. Displays a plane flying across the screen, which then drops a parachute. And so, this happens randomly when you rerun an infected file. And then we'll resume whatever. Oops, it's not breaking. Whatever. Well, as you can see, that is its payload. So it'll happen randomly whenever you run an infected file. Let's see if it'll happen again here one of these times. Should happen relatively soon. So a little amusing, not really destructive or anything, just you'll have a bunch of virus files all over your hard drive taking up quite a lot of space with the same names as your regular program. So pretty annoying, pretty amusing though. So that is about it for the plain DOS virus.